two hour wait. The court delivers its judgment, discharging Mr. Namdekanu of the six count charge of terrorism on the grounds that the trial court lacked the jurisdiction to entertain the charges against him. The trial court lacked the jurisdiction the held that an to entertain. Are you being attention? Without adherence to due process of the law is a gross violation of all international conventions, protocols, and treaties that Against Nigeria is signatory to, international as well as a breach of the appellant's fundamental human rights. The appellate court holds that the federal government failed to controvert the allegation that the IPOB leader was abducted in Kenya and brought back to Nigeria without extradition proceeding. The court further adds that the government was ominously silent on the issue which is described as very pivotal in determining whether the trial court very would still pivotal. have the jurisdiction to continue with the criminal proceeding before it. The court also notes that Nigeria is a signatory to African Union Convention, which it ratified on April 28, 2022, as well as the Charter on Human and People's Rights, which it said prescribed how a wanted person could be transferred from one country to another through an extradition request, which must be in writing with a statement indicating offenses for which a person Nigeria. is wanted. The appellate court held that the government's action tainted the entire proceeding it initiated against Mr. Namdekanu and amounted to an abuse of criminal prosecution in general. Although the counsel to the federal government left the court immediately after the judgment, the lawyer to Mr. Kanu reacts to the judgment. There was one fundamental issue <clears throat> on which the court today anchored this judgment, this intermediate court. And that is that. The lower court never evaluated the mountain of evidence placed before it regarding the forceful capture, kidnap, torture, and extraordinary rendition of Nnamdekanu from Kenya back to Nigeria on the 26th of June, 2021. What's the verdict of the all right wonderful people all right great people i hope every one of you understand this video that we just finished watching right now this is a update of mazin namdekano court case i know every one of you knows that mazin namdekano have been acquitted but up to date is still in dss dungeon now do you understand the reason why i hate nigeria with passion now do you know that nigeria is a jungle now, do you understand that Nigeria is a mainstream business to British people, those people that created Nigeria, that named Nigeria nigger area? Now, do you go, I hope you are going to agree with me that Nigeria is against humanity. That is why people are dying like a fowl in Nigeria every single day, because there is no rule of law. Nigeria don't know what is law. Nigeria is a jungle where there is no rule of law. Imagine that they are telling you so-called country, so-called nation. They will be telling you that diversity is our strength. But they never obey the law. They never go through due process at all. All of their thing is a kangaroo. Now you understand it. Nigeria is under United Nations Charter, under African Union Charter, and Human Rights Charter. But these people never obey common law. And you are telling me that this is a nation. And some of you will be where you are residing, already made land. And you will be telling me that Nigeria my country. I love Nigeria my country. And this is the country you are talking about. That, the, that Nigerian jurisdiction don't obey their court. They don't obey the law that they made. They made it, but they don't, they don't obey it. Now do you see the reason why I hate Nigeria with passion? Now do you see why Nigeria can never be fixed? You know the reason why I keep on repeating this to our people. We are not one people. That is why you are seeing all this shenanigan playing every single day. Because we are not one people. Just imagine our own representatives never want to ask about their son, about their brother, that the court so-called competent court in that contraption called Daminibuzu have released their brother and their son 
discharge him, acquitted him. They are still holding him. These people don't want to ask. But why? But why are you people still holding this man? And Nigeria by themselves, the Nigerian court jurisdiction, or don't want even want to talk about how did you brought Mazen Namdekano from Kenya back to Nigeria? How did you do that? Did you go under? Did you go on due process? Did you did you sit on the in the court? Did you have any any court seated? Did you put anything on writing? All this thing that I said here. Nigeria is against humanity. Nigeria never go through, I mean, through due process to be able to achieve what they want because they are not human. Nigeria don't reason. Nigeria don't have any sense of reasoning at all. That is why I keep on telling people that the foundation of Nigeria was built on fraud. Nigeria is a fabricated. That is why you see when I tell you that Nigeria is a mainstream business, you have to go back to your history and, you know, ask yourself or read the history and then you come in conclusion that Nigeria was built not as a country but as a mainstream business to be able to trade. That is how they come up and say that, okay, what are we going to do now? Let us name these people, these idiots that are living this place. Let us name them Nigeria, Nigeria area. Now you understand. Let me introduce myself before we go further. This is a Mazen Namdekano, you know, updating court. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. Here I am, I always set the record straight. I say the truth always, and I'm ready to down the consequences. Regardless who you are, your position, or your qualification we don't care we just need a common sense and my name is Mazo Kinnaokechukun known as the Bia franchise in Washineke the general now you understand that Nigeria is against humanity that is why you see in Nigeria people are dying like a fowl and there is no consequences just imagine that Nigeria is over 230 million the indigenous of Nigeria by themselves, they are more than 200 and, uh, 207 million. The rest of them are Fulani, just minority are Fulanis, and they are foreigners. Just imagine 5%, the Fulani, they are 5%, and they are controlling over 207 million. But because Fulani, they are not up to 7 million or 5 million in that contraption. They are controlling the rest of the indigenous people. None of them be able to stand on their word. They can't even say anything. They don't have gods or boss to be able to make their own decision. That is why you see, I hate Nigeria with passion. And you will see some people that they are living in their comfortable zone already made land they will be telling you i'm proud of nigeria nigeria my country where more than 100 people are dying every day in the hands of nigerian terrorists nigerian government terrorists the boko haram the isba they have more than eight terrorist group in northern part of nigeria and you are proud of this some people don't even want to use their sense and understand the mess that they are, they are into now you understand what I'm talking about. But there's something I want to put here so that you understand the mess that we are into. We could be able to, you know, stop this mess. But some people take it upon themselves, begin to think that they are in position to begin to make a decision. Now you understand. I want you people to ask King Sirius Bureau. He knew that our leader was kidnapped. He knew that our leader was in Kenya. Suffering in the hands of enemy, this guy up a sheer or one on your crever, actual corner now. Do you have to draw, Madam Finance? She knows that my leader was kidnapped, and she knows that our leader was in the hands of enemy for eight days. Or a I want you people to keep on asking this question. The one Anna or Kalula no Korafo na kwasle na gagari she knew that our leader was kidnapped they keep it quiet as the bureau was telling us that our leader was on the mount